Hey, this is Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. You're listening and watching Geek the 101. And if you haven't already subscribed, then look at these links and do so. <laughs> So with the upcoming debut of the English dub of the Future Trunks arc shortly into 2018, I've been thinking a lot about time travel in Dragon Ball and the character of Zamasu and whether or not we're actually ever going to see him again. Now I titled this video the return of Zamasu or Zamasu's return but the topic of the video is more so going to be about the fact that the time travel in Dragon Ball has opened up a lot of questions about whether or not there are other Zamasus out there and the answer is that there are so this video topic is not necessarily about Zamasu coming back to Dragon Ball Super please don't think I'm clickbaiting you because that was not the intent I swear it was more so to talk about the fact that Zamasu could return if they really explore what's gone on in Dragon Ball with the time travel I guess paradox that they have given us when you look at the way that time travel has been handled in Dragon Ball Super I'm talking about specifically Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super not the video games that's a totally different thing leave Xenoverse out of this for now you notice that there are a lot of questions that I feel are a bit unanswered when it comes to the entire multiverse and multi-timeline theory. Now, we know based on Dragon Ball Super that every alternate timeline has its own multiverse. That's why there are multiple Zenos, including, of course, future Zeno from future Trunks timeline. So that would, of course, imply that there are multiple Zenos across all of the other Dragon Ball timelines including the ones that were not revisited in the future Trunks arc. We know for a fact, based on the entire Trunks arc, that Goku, Black, and Zamasu went on a rampage of the future and killed off all the gods. They killed the Supreme Kais, which killed the gods of destruction, which nullified the angels. And we know that the future timeline has its own set of gods. These timelines are, of course, parallel timelines created by Trunks' time machine when he first went back or created by Cell when he first went back or created by the Universe 12 time traveler in Toyotaro's manga. It doesn't matter which one you figure out came first because it's confusing as hell to think about. The timelines were created by time machines, artificial constructs that have pretty much caused splits in the timeline. Now, if every timeline has its own set of 12 universes within each of its own timeline then that means that every timeline has its own set of time rings that represent all other timelines so when a new timeline is made a new set of time rings appear in every single timeline because there is no centerpiece timeline the main timeline we saw new time rings get created as the arc progressed so presumably speaking the same thing happened parallel in every timeline so that means that every different timeline has access to every other timeline every multiverse this is going to confuse some people so try to follow me every multiverse within each timeline has time rings that can cross in between the two parallel timelines as long as you have a time ring you can do that we saw zamasu slash goku black do it in dragon ball super i also find it very strange that time rings are just created out of thin air in every parallel timeline when a new timeline is made it's almost as if the space-time continuum itself knows and can sense when a split happens and just makes a ring out of it in every single timeline so that means that in theory there are still other timeline versions of zamasu out there that have access to time rings that would bring them back into the main timeline there's the self timeline and the unseen timeline both of which have a Zamasu that's still alive in them. Now, obviously, the catalyst for Zamasu to really go rogue and become evil was his introduction to Son Goku. That's what really made him a bad dude. And it was his meeting with Goku that really inspired him to hate mortals even more than he already did. But it's implied, if you watch Super, in future Zamasu's introduction, that even the future Zamasu did not like mortals and already had sinister thoughts in his mind which is why when Goku Black appeared in the future to meet up with the Trunks timeline version of Zamasu he went along with his plan without even thinking twice about it he wanted the immortality he wanted to rule over mortals and he had a tag team partner to help him out with it so who's to say whether or not Zamasu would have gone rogue anyways 
in the storyline had he not met Goku. Obviously, in the manga version, Toyotaro does not do what they did in the anime, and Zamasu was already going to go evil regardless of anything. But the difference is, without Goku being there, would Zamasu's plan have changed? I would say definitely, because he wouldn't even know that Goku had that powerful body in the other timelines to be able to even find Goku. How can he find Goku's body if he doesn't know who Goku is? So, the idea of Zamasu going evil in the Cell timeline or in the Unseen timeline is certainly a possibility with, of course, a different plan. And the more I think about it, the more I wonder, well... How are they going to wrap that up in Dragon Ball Super? Will they actually explore the fact that there are other Zamasus alive in other timelines that have healthy time rings? The answer is no. I don't think we're going to see Zamasu again. I don't think Toriyama puts that much thought into the series when it comes to wrapping up loose ends like this, especially with that arc, which had, in my opinion, the absolute worst ending to any arc in the history of Dragon Ball because there were so many loose ends that weren't tied up and it was so rushed at the end that it just felt incomplete and it felt very lazy and rushed. And that's the way that I see it. So as a result of that, I don't think that we're going to see any other timeline Zamasu's reappear in Dragon Ball Super, but be aware that they are out there. The Cell timeline and the Unseen timeline, both of those timelines have Zamasu's ready to strike and ready to have access to time rings to do whatever other damage they want to do. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you thought about the fact that there are more Zamasu's out there? And also, I know there's going to be some people who are going to bring up the fact that Beerus said that if he kills Zamasu in the present timeline, that it would affect the other timelines. But remember, he was wrong about that. He was incorrect about it, and they said it several times in the series. Just because you kill a Zamasu in timeline A, B, and C, if there's one in timeline D, E, and F, it doesn't mean that the D, E, and F ones are going to die. So that Zamasu in the Cell and Unseen timelines is out there. Thank you. Think about it. Hope you have a great day. See you later.